Hello and welcome to Point of View. As you can tell, this is a glorious winter day. It is March, but it's still winter. This is the Focus ST. And as you can probably tell, this type of weather is not ideal for a car like this you do need four-wheel drive to put the power down the sound the sound this car makes it doesn't ask to be revved out even from the low down the noise is just so punchy and it's roaring just as it should and downshifts oh my god downshifts are good now some of my viewers or if you have seen some of my other videos might know that I am a Cupra fanboy I have had three three Cupras two, two, two Cupras and a Leon FR also, for a brief period of time, I owned a Honda Civic Type R and yeah, basically I've driven all the hot hatches in this segment, in this price point and in many ways the Ford Focus ST is the best of the lot. Why do I think that? Watch the video. I love the exhaust, it pops and bangs on the overrun. In a hot hatch, it's unusual to find a... to find an exhaust that sounds like this. I mean, the Cupra is almost muted compared to this car. Of course, if you open up the exhaust on any of those hot hatches, you will get a beefier note, but this is stock absolutely nothing has been done to this car no muffler delete no resonator delete it's just just as it came from the factory oh dear quite fast the speeds will read something that you wouldn't tell your friendly neighborly officer and yeah my butt dyno says that it is stock it should not be chipped or tuned in any way which means that there is so much more potential in this engine a simple tune on the ECU due to the fact that this is a turbocharged car can mean 200 plus kilowatts easily if you change the turbos and stuff and stuff 250 and then you're entering the Focus RS territory I mean the downshifts oh my god I'm really trying to change gear as fast as I can but I'm wearing these chunky winter boots so it's not ideal but as you can probably tell, the gearbox is fast, it's slick, it's easy to use. It's a six-speed, so it's actually quite efficient on the highway. And now we come to the point that if you look at the brand new Type Rs and stuff like that, they're just so vulgar, they're out there saying that, look at me, I'm fast. This car, yeah, it has some gills and stuff, but with this grey paint job, it just blends in, doesn't it? Contrary to what Jeremy Clarkson said on Top Gear, I think the ideal color for this car is orange. Now, 
talking more about the design as I said this is sort of plain but it's not ugly not in any way this isn't a bad looking car now talking about interior quality most of the plastics they they feel nice if you touch them but if you just look at them they feel nasty and yeah really they do it's not bad I mean leather on the steering wheel perforated it feels soft on your hands the steering wheel has nice grip points shifter is covered in some sort of metallic thingy also metallic theme continues here here also here so yeah there are some nice touches but it, again it is quite bland if you get the orange color you get orange inserts on the seats and that changes the car completely again yeah orange would be my choice for this car definitely You heard the pop, right? Oh, it sounds really good. Look at the weather. Ah, I'm loving it. On winter tires, this handling, yeah, it's compromised let's just say that but even with these tires I can feel that the steering is precise it's not as precise as the new Focus RS of course but it's really not far behind there is something of a Focus RS in this car the DNA and just how the steering feels and the seats and the sound it feels special somehow beginning of the video I said that this is almost the best compromise between all the hot hatches in this price point of course when you buy new there are so many options and alternatives out there but with this price point what do you have Type R, Cupra, Golf GTI, Golf R32 if you get a really good price Focus ST, Focus RS is much more expensive again and yeah maybe some Peugeots and stuff like that but all in all there's not much to choose from the Type R has suspension you really can't live with in the city the Cupra is muted compared to this car speed wise the GTI and the Leon FR which have the same engine they just feel slow compared to this car of course if you chip them it's different but if you chip this car it's a monster the Golf R32 has all-wheel drive yes that is of course a bonus but I've said it before in my four-wheel drive Cupra video the new one that the front wheel drive drama actually makes it better somehow you have to really work for the grip it's not there every single time and you really have to find it you know just just like the f1 drivers find those little seconds milliseconds on that corner and where the grip is with these fast and capable hot hatches which have front wheel drive you really just have to search for the tarmac you can use and put the power down it's it's satisfying to say the least and the fact that you only have a manual gearbox no automatic available in most of those cars as I just mentioned the R32 has an automatic option and the GTI of course but the Cupra and so many hot hatches yeah they don't even offer the option of automatic gearboxes and it just makes it so much more enjoyable I sort of didn't tell you about the center screen here it's some Android system it's not that bad actually it has Bluetooth great audio and you can actually watch a YouTube video on it but why would you if you have a soundtrack like this I mean why would you even listen to the music and maybe something else that differs the Focus ST 
from the other hot hatches this has a 2.5 liter engine 0 to 60 they're all in the same ballpark 6.5 6.2 6.9 in the real world you're not gonna get 6.9 you're gonna get 7 point something but that's not the point the point is the feeling you get when driving a hot hatch Now let's take a quick look at the boot. It's plenty big for a hot hatch. The seats fold down of course, no problem. Sitting in the back, the seats are super comfy and I mean really really comfy. Legroom is good, yeah, materials are bad. Black headlining is a nice touch. All in all, yeah, no handrest, but it's it's a nice place to sit and I could easily do longer journeys in this car. Now to start the car up, this car has no keyless entry, of course, because it's from 2007. You get a nice sound when the car starts up. Anyway guys, I really like the Ford Focus ST. It has grown on me like almost like the Focus RS and it's that much more cheaper. So don't worry if you can't afford a brand new Focus RS or put like 30 grand under a car or lease it. Just get a 5000 euro Ford Focus ST you're getting like 75 70 percent of the whole experience a lot more cheaper so yeah just go for it thank you for watching there will be new videos coming soon if you like the video please like share and subscribe i would really appreciate it but yeah until then guys bye